Okay, so it recently snowed a lot here in the Kanazawa area. And this is the second day I've been able to actually get out and ride on the roads. You can see all the snow piled up. It's really beautiful. The mountains have this really beautiful dusting of snow on them that you can see from far away. And so I got a little video of what that looks like too. So I thought I would take the opportunity to show you what winter riding is kind of like, but I'm gonna show you one of the routes I like to ride that doesn't go into the mountains at all, kind of stays close to the coast. And the roads are clear and nice, so let's go check it out. This is the Tsurugaoka Shrine, one of the Shinto shrines in this town. It's at the end of the street and in the middle of the forest promenade pathway. It's small but conveniently located, and so it's pretty popular for locals to visit during walks on the path. I stopped because I found someone's wallet on the side of the road, so I guess I'll stop at a police station, Koban, and turn it in. Because it does have some cards in the back, so they're definitely going to want that back. But it looks like maybe they dropped it and then it got pushed off by the snowplow when it came through or something. It was in one of the snow piles. first police box I rode by and I went inside to see if there were any officers on duty that I could give the wallet to but unfortunately not. Okay so no one's in here. With smaller police boxes in more rural towns the officers are often out on patrol and so there's just a phone inside the building that you can call if there's an emergency. Since returning a wallet wasn't really an emergency I decided to keep going and look for a bigger police station. And if I didn't find one on my route, I knew that I could swing by the main station in town at the end of my ride. I love this street in the Kahoka area on the way towards Hakui because it's so quiet and it has all these beautiful old wooden buildings along this main street. I hate that that little raindrop in the top right corner of the screen wasn't brushed away, but I think you can still get the idea. So there is unfortunately quite a lot of trash that gets washed up. But that is the bikeway, and you can take it all the way from Uchinata past Takui even, like 20 miles. And so here's the beach. So it is very beautiful. And you can actually ride on the beach. It's kind of high tide right now, and with the weather and the recent snow, I don't really want to do that. But it is one of the very few places that you can actually drive a car and ride a bike right on the, on the sand along the beach. The huge bell at this temple caught my eye, so I pulled over for a second to admire it. And then on the left here, it looked like a lantern store or something. I would love to go in another day to check it out. Unfortunately, here it started raining. I guess at least it wasn't snow. Outside of the town of Hidatsu Shimizu, I saw a sign for some castle ruins, and I pulled over because I wanted to check them out. I pulled off because I saw a sign for the Suomori castle ruins and it stopped raining, so let's see if we can find some castle ruins out here. The sign for the castle ruins pointed up the hill, so I started up that way not really knowing what to expect. They had a couple of signs with maps outlining the different areas of the castle and looked like they spanned across the whole hillside. So once I was back home, I looked up the significance of Suomori Castle, and it said that it was built in the 16th century by the Hatakeyama clan in what used to be the Kaga province here. Later, the castle became the territory of Toshi Maeda, who was lord of this Noto region. Interesting. So they must be across this bridge. <laughs> My brakes. <laughs> okay, so the sign just says no vehicle entry, but it says that if you walk up there, you can go. So, uh, I don't think a bike would count as a vehicle in this instance. So, 
Let's go see what the castle ruins are like. Like most castles, it was the site of a lot of battles, and in the most famous one, Sasa Narimasa led an army of 15,000 people to Suwaramori Castle, attempting to claim it and separate the Kaga and Noto provinces. The road's pretty steep and in kind of rough shape. But Toshie succeeded in defending the castle by cooperating with Hideyoshi, and this became part of the Toyama campaign. Actually, it's said that the battle at this castle was the turning point for Toshi Maeda. After his win here, he became the most powerful feudal lord in the Kaga region, which now is Ishikawa Prefecture. And there's some slippery gravel and stuff. And it has all these signs on the side that are explaining what the different foliage and plants and stuff are. Okay, it's evening out, but it's also turning into a trail. The trail is in very nice shape. I don't know where we're going. Like a time warp to the castle. Okay. We keep going up. I can see bits of like tile and stuff here. Okay, it's getting flat. Does that mean this is the top? All right, so there's this big sign that I'm gonna have to Google Translate, but I guess this is it, we're at the castle. When they say ruins, they really mean ruins, but it is a very pretty area. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for like some stones or a little bit more than a just a plot of land for a castle ruins, but it is a really nice view. You can see the ocean from here in a couple different spots. And I guess it would be hard to preserve wood if you make your castles out of wood. So, and it's really nice that they have it so preserved with the trails and the signs. So it started raining again. Hopefully it stops just as quickly. It was often on rain as I rode back from the castle ruins, but I still had to make one more stop. Remember how I found that wallet? So I was looking for a police station with officers inside, and there was one more that I could try. If you come to Japan, you can actually ask police officers for directions or help with lost and found. It doesn't have to be an emergency to go to a police station. If you're not sure what a police station looks like and it doesn't say Koban out front, you can look for this yellow star symbol or for a flashing red light, which usually means that there's police officers inside. Luckily, this one did have three officers, and so I was able to actually return the wallet and finally head back to get home. This is the cute little train that runs through town on the Asanogawa line. All right, I successfully made it out of the police station, got the wallet to them, and then made it back home. An eventful little ride day. <laughs> I can't wait to take a hot shower and eat a bunch of food, but that was a good, a good one to ride.